200 billion galaxies are classified into just three basic types by the shape of the stars that surround their central core. Spiral galaxies like our Milky Way are flat and rotate with pairs of distinctive spot swirling arms of dust, gas, and new young stars. Lenticular galaxies are flat but spinning, but they are disorganized without the spiral arms. Elliptical galaxies are either ball or egg-shaped masses of older generation stars. Mathematically, the elliptical shape has two foci and is the result of the merger of two or more ball-shaped galaxies. This short video discusses elliptical galaxies. The largest of this round type of galaxies are also the most massive galaxies in the universe and only found within the great walls, but never out in the more open areas of space. The centers of elliptical galaxies are densely packed with older stars moving chaotically in random directions and speeds around a central black hole. Unlike the other types of galaxies, there are few stars outside of their central cores. Their older, late generation stars are red and dead, as there are, is very little loose gas and dust to make new stars. Most elliptical galaxies stopped making new stars about 10 billion years ago, but some were reactivated by merger with other galaxies as they gained new gas and dust. The most interesting aspect of these featureless spheres is the time and manner in which these elliptical galaxies stopped making new stars because they exhausted their supply of gas and dust. This shutdown happened quickly. Astronomers call this early and abrupt quenching. You might think of it as a quick and early death. When astronomers compared separate large elliptical galaxies at different stages of quenching, they noticed that the shutdown of star production began in the center and then moved outward, not from the outside in. Remember that the end of new star production is caused by running out of gas and dust. The source of gas must be where the shutdown first occurs, at the center, as my white hole theory claims. This discovery contradicts the Big Bang Theory's idea that elliptical galaxies uh, exhausted an external, an external gas, gas supply, that's from outside. If the Big Bang Theory were correct, the shutdown would start at the outer edge, but we observe the opposite. Now let's turn to the whiteboard and see the three stages of elliptical galaxy shutdown. We first of all have stage number one, where we have most many young outer stars. There are later generations of stars forming in the center, and this galaxy starts dying in the center. In the second stage, we see fewer young outer stars. There are more older red stars in the center. The only new stars are outside, and the center is only filled with old dead stars. Now, in stage three, and the, uh, as this galaxy dies, we see no young stars at all. This galaxy is now red and dead. No new stars because there's no gas or dust for these new stars. So the key here is that the, where the galaxy shut down is where the ex source of gas is. It's in the center, like my white hole theory claims, and not an external gas supply as the Big Bang Theory claims. Thank you.